one thing i'm always sure about is that harry does not hurt anyone back in the uk harry does not hurt the uk press basically what he hurts the most is their actions that's what kind of deters harry and them that's one thing that harry wouldn't love to see happen to anyone and that's why the only best way he thinks or he thought is just to stick to his land and mind his business but he does not hurt them because i believe there is a percentage of people back in the uk who want so much harry back and it's out of genuine love out of mismanagement me you can name it all i remember just the other day i came across a clip well, by the way, this content creator who was just walking across the streets asking people, would you love Harry back? And they were like, yes, we would. And the reason is we miss him. He's such a good person. Such comments. That's a video that has literally just gone viral. But I don't know why the press can't just get enough of it. I don't know why the, Brit the British royal family can't just get enough of it and put to just bring an end all this. As much as it's very obvious they can never have her back, as much as it's very obvious they can never have neither Harry or Meghan back, they just can't come to acceptance, so they can never have either of them. Jibinier said another one. Harry and Meghan are an insult to the nation that they abandon. Americans fall out of love with Sussexes. These were words according to, you know, Lee Cohen. And I'm like, how? One deciding to choose mental health, peace of mind, that becomes an insult. One decide that, you know what? I don't want this, but I'm going for what is right. That becomes an insult. They always tend to think about themselves and don't think about others. Don't think about what affects others. Basically, because why? What's the meaning of all this? Because personally, I'm so much against this whole statement, this whole article, this whole piece. Because after all, they're just writing it for the sake of clicks, for the sake of their own personal gains. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle are an insult to the nation they abandon, according to the US journalist Lee Cohen. Mind you, they do want, this is not a decision or a choice. They just woke up one morning and decided that this is what we want. It's out of the things they went through. The consistent trolling that they had to, you know, kind of persevere day in, day out. Hoping that it will come to an end. But no. But they see that as a mistake. They see that as something very wrong that Harry ever did. He chose happiness, he chose marriage, he chose love, he chose his family over them. That's where the jealous, the envy, the bitterness comes about. He spoke to Jibi News America about an opinion piece he wrote about the popularity of the Sussexes, not only with the public but with the royal family themselves. This follows. They, they they write these pieces and I'm like, okay, do they even give a second thought reading them? This follows claims that Harry told friends he would step into royal role while his father takes a break from public duties after announcing his cancer diagnosis. I don't remember anywhere this whole story having turned out and it was friends of Harry stated this. I remember very well these were UK press is near it, and that it came from royal sources, royal insiders, sources close. And now it turns out that Javier says it's, you know, Harry's friends. Contradiction. They say this today, say something else the next day, and forget if they ever stated it. What does this imply? This tells us that they're very much incompetent, not sure of what they say, what they bring about on daily basis about people. Personally, I can call this rubbish. Because, mind you, Harry is that one person who has decided to devote his time, his space, sacrifice, just wanting to assist humanity, wanting to assist people, wanting the best for everyone, with or without. 
they don't see that i don't know what affirmation will they ever need just to get to acceptance that they lost a lot and them recovering it i don't know how it will ever happen but they have a long way to go because if it's still if this is still the, the media that they have back in the uk then they don't deserve having them back having harry and megan back for what reasons People are out here having so much admiration of what Harry has become, just wishing so much hard that they could be in his place, but just don't know how. Yet there are some other creatures out there who tend to use Harry's, Harry's legacy, the legacy he's built all by himself. Harry and Meghan's reputation trying to tarnish it in one way or another. And where they go wrong is whereby they involve like an entire nation. I know there were some people who were so much supportive of Harry living together with his wife and family because they could see what they were getting is not something that any human being deserves. And the fact that the royal family was an able it was able to do something, but decided to, you know, kind of pretend or tend to be unable not to stop this. That's where they went wrong. Today, they'll just get back to their senses that they lost something very precious, that them acquiring it back. I don't know what it will take, but I don't see it happening. They just need to let them be. Using Harry and Megan for clickbait isn't worth it. These are people kind of dealing at the moment with their own projects, things that benefit them generally. Things that they would love to see it happen to everyone in the society, in the community at large. I wish they understood this. But either way, it's a free world. Allowed to say whatsoever what you want, as long as you know, at the end of the day, you're like, I have a cloud, I have. A People who are looking after me and they love this. Because I believe everyone has his or her own audience. And they do see such things because they have a backup. If I'm to say the British media and royal family in ability to hear when Prince Harry speaks. He told you that the, the only regret he has was that he should have spoken up about the racism his wife faced. My guy said, you tried to do to my wife what you did to my mother, and I will not allow it. These four words are stated so well. If you checked Harry's documentary series, and Harry explained it so well in his memoir, Spare. Their inability to recognize what he was going through, and the fact that he stayed silent for so long, he gave a stop. He, he, he just rubber stamped and brought an end to it. Cause up. It was just relentless, very. It was just becoming so much beyond imagination, if I'm to see. But mind you, they are now where they are at, at a better place, not giving a damn ear to what the haters, to the negativity being spread out here. Because at the end, they understand their goal. They understand what's needed and what not, what they have to do and what not, basically. I don't know what's your take on this kindly just comment down below and that was our today's video and hoping to see you guys in our next